Hey, how we doing? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play, and the Hogwarts Legacy domination continues. So Hogwarts Legacy's UK first week of sales are 80% higher than Elden Rings. This is absolutely insane, and this is just for physical copies of the game, not including digital. So it's the biggest week for any Harry Potter game in the UK, and we can jump over here, and we see that Hogwarts Legacy is the biggest Harry Potter game launch of all time in the UK, ending the record held by 2001's Philosopher's Stone, which sales are 64% higher than that. Now this is just physical sales, so the actual gap will be more significant, and Philosopher's Stone didn't have any digital sales back then in 2001. So Hogwarts Legacy has entered the UK charts at number one. So Game Industry Biz reports that in terms of physical sales, Warner Brothers game was comfortably the best selling game of that week. It also notes that compared to the last major fantasy game release, which was Elden Ring, Hogwarts Legacy's week one sales are 80% higher. And just think back to the hype of Elden Ring, and for this to beat that by 80% is just insane. So 82% of copies were sold on PS5, while the remaining were the 18% on the Xbox Series X. Again, this is just for physical sales. So this does not include the digital sales and the GI Biz notes that Xbox digital share tends to be higher than the physical share, partly due to the popularity of the Xbox Series X, which is digital only. In terms of the Harry Potter franchise, the Hogwarts Legacy's first week sales mark the best selling week for any Harry Potter game released to date. So this just goes to show that just because people are freaking out on Twitter does not actually affect too much when it comes to real people walking into shops to buy games because Twitter is not real life and that cuts both ways. I think that majority, in fact the extreme vast majority of people that bought this game were either unaware or did not care too much about the backlash that was going on or the backlash and the controversy of JK Rowling. This was always going to be successful because of the idea of what it is. It's a open world Hogwarts game. That was always going to be successful. Harry Potter is a big IP. So a game like this was always going to do well, regardless of who was freaking out on Twitter. It means absolutely nothing at the end of the day. What matters is the sales. This game is successful anyway you try to cut it, and it is that simple. I'm personally not really that interested in this game. I might end up getting it once it goes on sale so I can save a few dollars, but you tell me. Have you been playing this game? Are you enjoying it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com, and I'll see you all in the next video.